So Tom, what do you do to like in your head? What do you do when you look at a tree? What's the first thing? Is your, uh, what's going through? You, you look for the front of the tree. And how do you find a front for you? How do you find a front? Uh, the front is the best moment of the tree and also is the front, the best view you can see the whole tree. So you can see the right branch for right spot. Left, right, front, rear, and the iPad and the movement. Looking for the fun. When you find the fun, then you can do it. If you cannot find the fun, no way you can do it. Awesome, Tom. I can't wait to see what you do with it. Okay. Okay. Hi, yeah. Few things we've got um, next year coming up. We are show, and that's the uh, what's that? 23rd. Yeah, twenty third and twenty fourth. It's set up on Saturday. I mean on Friday, excuse me. <laughs> read your notes, read your notes, yeah, old yeah, man. Yeah. What's your notes? And then um, Bonsaiathon will be going on in February, the 26th and 27th. Okay, on the 27th? Of February. February. Yeah. Oh, February. February. Bonsai. Next year. These are next year shows. Yeah, we're pretty much, I think shows are done this year. Oh, the Shoei Convention. I, didn't, I, don't, I don't have the date. I know it's February. Juicy the uh, Super Bowl weekend. Is that that, north? Yeah. yeah. So I think it's the first first weekend yeah. usually in February. Well, yeah. 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 well, surely I'll get surely I'll get everything out. It's on the, it was on the last month's uh, newsletter. Newsletter? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. And our show, our show is coming up. That's what I said. I just said our show. What yeah. The date. The date again for our show. Oh, our, our show. The. Twenty third. Yeah, twenty third and twenty fourth. Twenty second. Oh, 22nd, 23rd? The 24th is Monday. Oh, okay. Let me look, yeah. Let me just know. Where's your glasses on, man? I can read this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah 20, 21st is set up, 22nd and 23rd. That's correct. We moved it up a week because of the show. It's still going on until the 12th. Wow. So, yeah, last year it was a week earlier. And so we were, you know, we were okay, but they pushed it, pushed it back. And, um, and next month, we'll be at Shirley and Charlene's house in Temple City. Pretty much everybody knows. And she'll have it in the newsletter. Okay? And... Uh, the CBS swap game? Is that, uh, is that coming up? Oh, that's uh, usually Thanksgiving weekend. Great. Okay. Are they having it? Oh, he was at the meeting last that's sweet, so oh. they are going to have it? That's a, yeah, that's oh, wow. a Kamaguchi right after, right at the day after Thanksgiving. Black Friday? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> or Saturday, Sunday, Sunday usually. Saturday and Sunday. On the, One of those two days. Okay, yeah. we'll, yeah, we'll find out. Okay. Anything else at that meeting at that? No, and then yeah. the, the other thing is, you know, there's been a lot of people getting ripped off yeah. from trees. Yeah. And um, I don't know how many people are on Facebook, but they're posting a lot of pictures of the cars and the, there's a guy in San Diego that got yeah. good pictures of the actual guy that was stealing trees down there. I don't know if it's the same guy, but um, you should, everybody should be aware of the trees. The, there's some, been some pictures of trees posted. That would be really helpful if we could find out who that is and, and get those back. Gary had a, a, a really nice pomegranate. That's, you know, probably at over 100 years old. So his dad. Oh, here's that too. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay. Wait till they come in and then. And then I asked John to, to do a special project for us. And uh, he's going to get t shirts made up. Yay! I'm sure he's going to have a list over here. We'll be selling for $20 a piece. They're going to be all sizes. So we put your order in, that way we get correct sizes for you guys. They're going to be women and men. And uh, I talked to John a couple months ago, and he said, I'll get right on it. And really appreciate it, John. It looks fantastic. Yes. Yeah, sign up sheet. Yeah. Come on, Joe, hold it up. Come on, yeah, I'll hold it up. Oh, here. I got a bag. That's the back? That's the back, and then we have it on the front. Oh, nice. Over here, Joe, with the camera, where the camera is. Okay. Very, very beautiful. And the front, the front and the back. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh, really? It looks really good on camera, by the way. Yeah. It's kind of, it's, it's kind of the same as our uh, our banner. I went with the, the black and gold. John and I talked it out, and uh, we we thought that would be our best our best uh, option. And uh, 
Thank you, John, for doing that. I appreciate it. So as soon as we get time and order together, I'd like to get get it ordered in November so we'll have it ready for the show. Okay? Here's the sign Okay. So here's a sheet right here. If you would like one, they're $20. What's your size? How many you Okay, your name? Hubert, what size is that? Like I said, we'll have women and men. So specify. Okay, anything else? Yeah. I just want to mention, uh, and, you know, you probably, you probably thought about it, maybe you haven't thought about this, but, you know, Tom has been doing all these uh, videos, right? All these uh, YouTube, YouTube videos, and uh, really, it's one kind of brought, kept this most of community focused, you know, and, and together. But it, it does a lot for each of those people or businesses because they get extra business. I see, oh, I'm gonna go visit that place, you know. And uh, Tom did one at the uh, Sentinella convention and my booth, he showed my booth a little bit and I got a sale today about $1,000 and it's just because of that, that video. Mm -hmm. So I just want to thank Tom for <laughs> it helps everybody out. So yeah, he put Ed Clark on the map. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 So. Thank you, Tom. Okay. Now, speaking of Ed Clark, um, mm -hmm. I got this tree up at Ed Clark's about almost two and a half, three years ago. And I've been lucky to keep it alive. And I asked Tom Bond. <laughs> to do a demo on it today. And I took it to his house and I said, you want to prep this? He goes, no, nah, no problem. So tonight, Tom is going to be our demonstrator. And, uh, and he did not want to take any money. Did not want to take any money tonight because of how the clubs are doing and everything. I want to give Tom a big hand just for that. Thank you, Tom. And thank Hannah for coming with him. <laughs> Yes, and if you haven't seen Tom's yard, this is one of my good buddies right here, I'll tell you. If you haven't seen Tom's yard, Tom ha Lau has a, a video of his yard. This guy's got 10, 14 foot trees that he breaks down and just makes magnificent pieces out of it. So, so I'm gonna let you go. That, that locks if you wanna yeah, lock it. Yeah, I, I said. You know, okay. Hello everyone, Hello. and then Tom. <laughs> This is a very nice tree, very nice. Uh, Itoi Kawa, Chimpaku. And uh, I guess this one about 20 years. 20 years. Or more. I didn't ask you that. Uh, before we do the tree, we demonstration or work on the tree, you look for the fun. When you look at the fun, then you can work it. But if you cannot find the fun, don't work it yet because you don't want to cut the wrong branch. Because we can, I, I turn around like this, I find out the front right here. This is the front, I look at. And after you look at the front, then you can turn left, right a little bit to see. This is the front, you can move a little bit like this, like this, or whatever you want. But have to look at the front first. If you cannot find the front, don't do it yet. So, any question? We start to work. This one is, and uh, I looking for first brand. Then anything else is close to them. We have to cut it. So I will cut the 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 one we don't need. It. And all this one, after that, we can do the cutting because right now it's season to well, cut a piece like this. A 
a slight little bit. And deep in the root tone, then they, they go. What kind of soil mix do you like to put your cutting? Uh, because this is a, you can put a little bit root tone and put on the sand, basically sand. They go in, the, yeah. I put on the sand, they go in. Coarse sand? Yeah, just uh, play sand from Home Depot. And they go. So today we have a lot of peace, so everyone. <laughs> Okay, basically, I trim the the brand is not. We don't need that one, so we trim that first. Then we look for first brand and second. But this one, to see, after cut it. We have the movement right here. Then the, the brand is right on the curl of the movement. So I, I trim that one. I cut that one. And you see more in the front. Do you cut it flush against the trunk or do you leave a stub so you can chin it? What, what, what's your yeah, you can chin it, but uh, this one right on the curl. I, I show you why. Okay, now we can see more. <laughs> I think we're almost done, everybody. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know Tom was one of the fastest hands ever seen in Mumbai. He's blinking and done. See right here, right. everyone see it. right on the movement is they, they go right here, so we have to cut it. We, we cannot make it that kind of chin. You can see right here. This is the front cut right here. So as you can see more right. So show us the front again. Yeah, right here. Right here the front. Are you gonna tip it one way or the other? Yeah. So now we choose the, after we choose the fun, right, we can choose the, the first brand. The first brand can be left or right, whatever. And I clean the, the more dust, more stuff down here. Let me see. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
look like that when we bought it. No, it, 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 it jumped up. up. It speeds up. This is the fun. I mark this on fun so everyone can see that easier. Any question? Would you graph off of it eventually or no? No, this one original. I think he go from cutting. I think so. Yeah, this one, this one is good. Grab right now. You can grab this, this one to pop, to pop your other. Then we clean all the small stuff inside here. So you see more movement around. See, now that we can see more in front. So this tree here, not too big, so I make the brand is shorter. Uh, you can start from next month until uh, April. Oh, okay. yeah. how, how, short, how short are you going? Because it, it looks like you took almost a good 75% of the, the mass off already. Yeah, because the, the chunk about that, uh, that big, you can't make the brand like this. You have to match it with the, the chunk. <laughs> to me, this chunk is big. Yeah, sometimes you, you, uh, you cut about 90%, and then uh, they go back, then you can do more. <laughs> you can't, because the trunk like that, you can't make the too big uh, branch. So the... Uh, no, Nathan, these uh, branches right here are for you. <laughs> and later on, I will cut this one so we see more in the bottom. Uh, when you let them go, uh, you can change the part, right? That I cut uh, the part down here. Okay. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I want the people to see the trunk, see the movement uh, from beautiful in that one. A little bit uh, lightly slant.
smarter, man. I don't even know what you have anymore. He does. He still has some. Do you have some? He still has some. It's a good side. Not when Tom gets to him. November, maybe November 12th, I have a day off. It's a Friday. I gotta see if he's home. That's another thing. I'm not sure if he's gonna... As we can see, the, the trunk is more moving this way. See, this is the front. Because right on the curve here, we have to cut it. So you can see more movement that way, right? So, yeah, similar. We have the, this is the first brand, this second. Then this is the back, right on the, 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 the back. The third one is right on the back, it's perfect. To me, the brand over here and here is still too big compared to the one. But uh, we cut too short, <laughs> people don't like it. And we fold this one down. So which one will be your first brand? Uh, this one will be the first brand. Which one? Yeah, this one will be the first brand. This is the first band look like this in the future. And they will come out. This is the first band. Because it's very nice. They have the curve right here. So if you look at that, they have the curve right here. It looks very nice for the first band. Cut this one, they don't, they don't have any breath to, to wide that much, not much. This is the second one. And this is this one right here. This is the third one. Still a little bit too long, but we can reduce later. Because it, from here to here, a little about eight inch for eight inch for the the brand is still too large. But if I cut more, <laughs> we have nothing. There. So you would go shorter. To get, to In the future, we'll be much shorter. To the scale. Yeah. Back, back we, we weigh the back button and we reduce one more time. Because we cut right now is we have nothing, not but anything, because it's the high, and the brand and the trunk have to be be balanced of the tree. You you like to think about um, the future maybe putting shari or. Um, yeah, we'll be we'll be shy, but if if put right now. Maybe in the, uh, when we slide like that a little bit, you can see more movement that way. More movement that's why then then in the future the I pack this way, somewhere around here. Every time when uh, because from here 
we don't have any brand, right? But with, if you slant like that, the brand is getting closer. Between, between the high of this and this one, they're closer. But you straight like that, is they have the longer between would, the branch. Would you graph in between as a branch? Uh, this one, we don't need. Okay. Yeah, they, they will, but uh, they will come out a lot. Because when you graph over here, you need, actually, most of the big brand over here in the future, we don't need that. Really? We don't need that. We need a small like that right here. In the future, we do this one. We don't do this. Got too too big in the top. <coughs> Compare like like the upper here is the 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 brand here too big. The brand here is too big. In the top, the bottom is okay, but over here is too big. This one okay. This one okay. But the rest of them is too big for the top. Would you consider shortening it and making that first branch at the top of the curve? Uh, yeah. We, we, we do like that, then this one is much shorter right here. Because this one is small, later on we can, I can leave this one a little bit, so we can make some dead wood here, but the brand we need is this kind of the, the small. But the big one like that, we make the, the so size. So that one, the smaller one, you pull it down? Yes. Kind of fill the hole, right? Yes, that's right. Like those one right here, we can move like that. And feel the hole, this is the eye patch. Uh, Nick, I think the tree's been doing at least 10 years. Um, that started at least 10 years. Um, Joe, Joe bought it, I think, about almost two and a half years ago. Well, it's a 12 bottle. Oh, it's a 10 year old tree. At least a 10 year old tree. At least a 10 year old tree from their part. No, I think it's, there's some more. Because for the, the, the timber go goes slow, so this this one is look like it's a very good size. So, so over here when the when the tree, when the tree like this, I do this on the the the, the brand and I do this on the iPad. I will cut this one, this one from here because we want to. The impact they go back a little bit, so this one actually I will keep it that wood and chin a li little bit right here, make the taper. And we need some like this, this, and this one, but the rest of them we don't need. It. <coughs> so the three, four brand right here is too big for the top, too big. Uh, the, the tree, uh, about two more years, will be look nice. Two more years. Because they fill up everything, second branch. Just keep pushing those back and yes. everything down, wire it, and then cut it off, right? Yes. This one we need it. This one, this one we need it. This one we need it. But <laughs> too big up here now. So this one we don't need that. We can uh, cut it or chin, whatever, but this one we don't need that. This one right here, we don't need too big. In the two years, it probably grew, I don't know, uh, maybe eight to 10 inches. And we didn't do anything to it. Didn't water it. Yeah. 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 I'd give it a little fertilizer, but then water it. Yeah, yeah. But it, it was, yeah, it was considerably smaller. So it's On that same pot. So the tree will move this way. Yeah. 
Ah, see, that the brand we need, this one we need, this one we need, and this one we need. This one you can cut it, or you can leave teen, but mainly the tree goes from here. This is the tree. Is the tree move from here, up here, go here, then this is the iPad. That's how we cut everything down. Any question before we start winding? If my tree, I let them uh, go out. Yeah, a year later, I can wire. But we, most of them right here, we will, we will check why the small one. But I try to do some in the iPad here to make the, the iPad here. But this one is too big, and we wait this one, they come out. So how soon do you like to feed them after you cut? Uh, I think here already feed right here. You can feed any time uh, after cut the chain for the little bit bigger part. Uh, a lot of fertilizer they they go quickly, but this one they love the the. I, I think they love the sun and the fertilizer water. Most of my tree, if I have ten tree, right, I do like this and sit them back and do a little sit them back and they come out and then. And then Every time I do, I do it. <laughs> okay, I will wipe some of the small one because the bottom here they shoot out, and we do tiny small and cut the. This one is short, a little bit shorter. Yes. Ah, uh, the wire is probably about the maximum about 15 in the wire right here. The high about 20 the most. Can you show it with your hands? Or yeah, about that's that much higher. But the wire is a little bit, little bit short, but basically like this. So you're this. really going to drop and cut, yeah. cut back those, those first two rounds? Because the trunk like that, it, we cannot make the two wire like that. We have to make almost. that. Yeah, yeah, and then we, we can reduce it. The second time, you, you can see a lot m more better. So this one, about two years, will be look okay. And the second year, which is after we wind it, and we can do some sahi movement. So because right now, if I do it, the tree can a little bit slow grow. So we don't do anything right now. But we make the frame left, right, front, the brand, all the brand first. Let them go stronger. When we have all the brand, then we can do the sahi. Yeah. This is the first style, the rough style. Rough style. Let it come back and restyle again. It's a slower growth process. Yeah, that, that is slow. It doesn't have much photosynthesis strength. Yeah. That's right. Because every time you do the, the tree, you will chain them a little bit. Even you, you, you think this one is fun, this one brand, but you will chain a little bit for correctly. Because every front rear bike have to 3D angle to look at that. How soon do you think you'd repot it? Maybe this spring right away? Uh, this one better repot now. Yeah. But bigger pot, up pot it. Uh, bigger, cut down here. Yeah. When I repot, I cut this one, right? Then, but the wider. And my, the more you, you cut the lower, the, the brand, they go that way. The more, the, the deeper part, they go that way. 
Yes, correct. Uh, now, uh, the best time for reporting this kind of tree is, uh, I think, around sp early spring to er early uh, summer. When you report late, you have to put in a shape more. When you report early, put out the sun f f earlier. So, for Southern California, mid-February? Yes. Early April? Yeah, early April or May, depend on if you have the shape. Close it and put on there, and they still survive. You see this one right here? We have the movement right here, right? One brand right here. We don't need that one, so we have to remove. The more you remove here, okay, when we cut the right here, right? If the brand they live over here, when they're growing, you don't see the more movement here. Same thing here. Well, the two, two, two branches yeah, there. right here, they go in the front. The more bigger brand and the more they fill up the, the front, then they don't have the movement. Yeah. They're fighting each other right there. But when you, when you cut over here, yes. you cut that one, right? Nothing grow over here. They go both sides. But the trunk is, is bigger, like left and right. But if you leave it, they go the trunk they go that way. When you cut it, the trunk they go this way. It's the wider, faster, wider. And the more more movement because they cannot go this way, they go both sides. So you see more movement that way. Same thing here. If you cut it, nothing go over here, they go left and right. Because we have the cut right here. Uh, this is the, I consider this is the back band. Right. Yeah. This is the left, it's right here. Right. That branch, that, that third branch. No, it's, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. Actually, we don't need this one too straight right here. Yeah. We will need some like this when they go. Just short one and the movement. We don't need that long. Yeah. But we leave this one for a lot of but they come out. Later on, we will cut right here. I like to cut right here. Like this one too short right here? Yeah. I like to cut right here. <laughs> so they, when the button come out, you can make a movement. From here, it's not much you can do straight right here. So we, we can short a little bit, let them come out, and we can make wider. But the more I cut it, the more nothing on which I have. Nothing to wire. Yeah. Uh, it should be, yes, yeah, should, should be, yeah. Uh, this is a styling question. So do you peel the bark on your juniper, or you leave the, the bark on your juniper? Yeah, we, we peel it. So you it, peel it. It can peel it the way you want. Okay. So do you peel your bark when you show, or no? Uh, before, on the show? Yeah. Yeah, we did that, but uh, we, before the show, is, but we don't do that before. Look fresh. Now, you peel the, the back, make the order. But you have to do it before the show. Okay, but do you, do you like the full bark or you like the, the, the young red one uh, when you're showing your tree? The, 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 the full one, the old one, better. Yeah, the yeah. Okay. it's better. Sometimes we, we leave the sum of the strong oil here so you can tie it to bend this way, that way. And bend this down, so I wise some of Lilum. Not much to wise over here. <laughs> the tree almost done. It's a nice tree. It's a very nice tree. 
Okay, for a little bit story, when you go up the mountain, right? Those three here, the, the big play room. You have to go inside and, and look at the trunk, look at tree, look at everything before you cut a tree. So, so you have to turn around. You crawling around it <laughs> and to see the tree before you cut it. Otherwise, you cut it, the, 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 the tree not worth it to, 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 to dig it. Yeah, before I dig it. So I have to look at the tree, see what we can do in the future. But a lot of nice trees up in the mountain, sometimes I stand to look at the tree for at least one hour, two hours. Wow. Very enjoyable to look that way. <laughs> look around, look around, see, oh, I can do that, I can do that. I cannot do this. You study right there with a the tree up in the mountain. Because with the nature, that's the best, the best, best ever. Uh, Zootouch juniper is most of them don't have termite. Ninety-nine percent yeah, they don't have. Sometimes they do, but ninety-nine percent they don't have termite. The the dead wood is much much harder. It's stronger than. Uh, maybe, but uh, the 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 dead wood much harder. Much harder. And also, uh, when they grow, they did not shoot like that. They're more compact. You, you don't see like this up in the, the mountains, Utah. But California, yes. And also, after you wire the tree for first time, second time, take the wire out, they stay right there. But California, they fall down, and you have to wire again, let them go, wire again, trim them. Basically, you have to keep all the time until 10, 20 years, then, then they can have the path. But Utah, they, they go more compact that way. Uh, Utah, Utah juniper is most uh, strong juniper I can see because they can go from Arizona up to Montana. So any condition, cold, wind, uh, snow, uh, hot in the Arizona, they still can grow. Uh, but California, we have only certain uh, spot only, not too many. But Utah, you can see anywhere in the United States on the East Coast. Every, most of everywhere. Wow. But very hard to find a nice Zuta. Because they go strong, that's why they go straight. straight. And they go by both. Is it a fast grower, Utah juniper? No, no, they they not fast grower. They, they, they basically the same, but the, the dead woods is much harder. Very hard. Very hard. So when you bring one back, Uh, I have some of the, my Utah, I just one year, but some of them four or five years. Depend on whatever you cut like this, you know, you have to wait. You judge by the extension. Yes. How it's grown, yeah. And then you know. Yeah. Time. And the percent when you collect the, the, the Utah is percent survives much higher. Uh, much higher than California. Can you describe your aftercare? Yeah, the aftercare is. After we dig the tree or grab the tree, everything is after care is very important, very important. And when I collect the, the, the juniper, I go home, right? I water the tree, basically by permit only, and water the tree about four, three, four hours. Make sure they, they suck inside because some of them, the, 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 the dirt is for a long time, they have water, they tight. The water cannot go inside. So... I suck with them, make sure they deep inside with the water. Then I don't water, I cover up, I do the missing. I don't water for at least, at least one month. Don't water it, so, please. Okay, so you, have, you, you soak the root ball for two days? Uh, three, four hours. Oh, three, uh, make sure, whatever, make sure 
Sometimes big like that is too dry, like you said. Yeah. Bulk. I, I like the word bulk, yeah. Yeah, and then what, what, what I cover, cover this one. So you don't put anything around the root ball, you just no. cover it. Co Is that bark? Uh, no, I don't, I, I just cover it like blanket or, oh. or like, uh, like piece mold or whatever you can cover. Then you mix it. And in my house, I, I do the tie, a lot of tie like that. I cover, make sure the not over west. Then I don't water here for at least a month. Just miss. Miss. Then uh, I miss the uh, daytime only, not nighttime. Uh, nighttime only, not daytime. Oh, okay. Nighttime, nighttime only, because up in the mountain, only nighttime they have water. Okay. Daytime they don't. We follow everything, we follow the nature. Because daytime they don't have water. You, you put them, uh, like put them the back. Yes, sacred, right? yes. That's correct. Like uh, no, about six months. Six months. Six months. Six months. And, and then when you, when you start to water after a month? After a month of water, then wait another, maybe when you see the button they come out, then water. If not, don't water. Don't water. Don't water Most of the die because we are over care, over care, but over care. Most of them die because over care. Yes, uh, we follow the nature. When you go up the mountain, I have a lot of foggy and everything on day, uh, nighttime, but daytime totally is different because the temperature they are different, huge different between night and day. So I miss only nighttime only, about three, four times, but especially. Three, three or four times at night? Yes, three, four times at night. I uh, don't, uh, depend on, make sure the foliage, they can't wear, that's it. Because the, the root system doesn't work yet. They doesn't work yet, but you have to make them survive before they go circulate uh, be, between the root and the foliage, you know. So you just go a couple of, a couple of minutes? A couple of minutes, uh, maximum five minutes, maximum yeah, five minutes at night, at night especially on the morning. And that's it. Don't do it under daytime. Because daytime, they have the different breeding, you know. And uh, we follow the nature. Because in, in nature, daytime, they don't have foggy. So why you miss it? Most of them, the tree die because of, not because of the less water, because more water, they die. Most of them die because of too much water. Most of them die because too much very important and one thing very important by my expand okay the, the 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 tree they go like that right when i bring home i put two blocks in here the left side or the right side whatever one side higher than the other one is but two two three in. even the raining even the over water different right away very 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 important if you do like that a lot of water. If you just lay down about two, two inch, you see the water, they come out right away. This is a very, very good technique. Very important. Make the percent survive higher. And you don't do, you, the root ball that you bring back, you leave that alone until you're comfortable that the tree's strong. Yeah, that, that's why, do right. That's why a lot of people, they, like me before, I dig a, the root ball, right? I thought it's a lot of root with the root ball, but the, the tree still die. Why? Because too much water. Do you like, what is it, uh, remove all the native soil or do you keep? Uh, we can remove uh, after they survive. Oh, so you keep, you keep everything in the root ball? Yeah, everything, max, max you can. That's why, th because the, the condition of the root ball is, they are different. A lot of them have the, uh, the must, they tie it together for many years. You can't put the water inside. But if you water too much, it's, then they die. So one time only, don't water anymore. Waste another. The, 
when when the when the root system they work right, you can see the button right here. They they bright bright green. You can see them, but if you see they they not bright, that means the root system doesn't work yet. When they doesn't work, don't water. Don't water. So how long does it take before you know it's already acclimated and it's already strong? And uh, a lot of tree after about two or three months, you can see the fully a little bit strong. Uh -huh. You feel it, and you see the the, the tip is the more brighter than in, than the inside. The outside more brighter, and you see the where much survive. But not 100% yet, because if you water too much, they, they, they die again. Yeah. So about a, about a good solid year. Yeah. And very important between, like I said, one month you water, right? When you water, like regular tree, that's very important from here to, to there. It's, so you're getting closer, like one month, three, three weeks, and about 18 days. 15 days to slowly continue water. If they see they're growing, uh, before when they're growing, the, the tree survive, right? I put outside the sun, I water like, like all the tree, and they, they die again. So is there like any tip off from the tree? Does it change color? Does the new growth change color? Yeah, they're changing color. You can tell it. Too much water, it changes color and grows. Too much water, then they die. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> And you can, if they change anything, too much, okay, less water, you can fix the tree. Too much water, that's it, it's over. The game is over. I'm serious. If you less, little bit try here, the tree still survive. Still survive because they have a lot of energy with the mist. They still survive. But over water, and that's it. Nothing you can do. When over water here, you see they, they going down here, then that's it. Uh, uh, most of them are pumice. Oh, pumice? Okay, I, I mix like that a little bit different. We go for, to, for the detail today. If I have the root ball, 100% is pumice. 100%, 100% pumice. But if, if I don't have the root ball, I make the pumice with the DG. Oh. That a little bit different. A little bit different. Mix the pumice with what? DG. Yes. Really? Yeah. Because the permit only they can't hold the tree. They can't hold the moist. That mark like a little more DG. When you see they grow, they need the energy, so DG they make them survive. DG is better than Akadama or Ah, uh, I don't know, but Akadama they keep wet a, a lot. And and they are expensive too. It's expensive, yeah. yeah. And the big buck like like <laughs> like he have that. <laughs> it's it spent about two, three hundred for a bulk. That's a lot to me. Yeah, you know. the trees are like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tree like about double. And uh, a lot of a lot of people like I do to do is if the big tree they have a little root, but right? just a little root, then uh, I make the 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 akadama with the lime rock and, and permit. I, I just put a little bit on the roots only. But the rest of them is like regular mist. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully they survive that one. And we feel good when we do that too, you know. Okay, why don't we take a break right now? We got raffle stuff back there. And for those of you who came in late, John has t-shirts over here that we're gonna be getting at the end of our year. And we got an order form going around. Oh, here it is. So if you like an order form, they're twenty dollars. Okay. <laughs> we like to put Thank the pre-order in and then we'll... Can we pay now for this? No, we'll, we'll, we'll get the... And they got it. Hey, how are you? <laughs> so I just wanted to mention, I know you guys got a bunch of this uh, uh, root tone last time, but I brought another one because uh, it's really good when you're Transplanting, we're going into the transplant season. Uh, when you, after you do your root cutting, then you could just uh, brush on a bunch of this root tone uh, when you're transplanting. It helps the roots come out better and helps with uh, disease problems. So, 
Anyways, this this whole box is gonna be is gonna be on that process here. Okay. okay. So you use that. Okay. Do you want to break it down? No. Mm -hmm. You use a lot when you're doing scrap fighting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I like that. Way. <laughs> okay, anybody have any question about the uh, aftercare, about any, any kind, any question? <laughs> so, we, now we, we wire the tree, okay? The second one, <laughs> not much to wire, but we, we can wire. All three branches. This is not a wiring demo, okay? When I took the tree to South so Tom, do you like using copper wire or aluminum wire? Uh, for the training training tree, we don't need a copper wire. Yeah. Copper part wire is I love it, I like it, but uh, they look nice. They're more expensive. Uh, uh, good for show. You know, but uh, for training, do this one is much cheaper, easy for beginning, easy for everyone. But copper always the best, you know. No question about that. <laughs> I love it. Why do you think it's easier? Uh, because this one is, yeah, this one easier than copper. So when we wire it, we always wire from from the bottom, then. Then here we can make a triangle, so later on we can cut everything shorter. The reason we make the triangle of the tree and uh, the brand is not over like that. They have to be like this because they, we, all the brand, the, the new button side, they're looking for sun. So uh, the triangle, that means it might, the sun can go through. And uh, if, if the upper brand is longer than longer than the low brand and they cover the sun. S the sun can get through them. So that's why we make this one shorter. Every time the sun go, because the sun they go from, from east, uh, east to west, right? Then they go here and they're changing. So every time the sun they go through the brand, all, all the branch. So that's why most of the, the bonsai uh, tree, they're not over, the over branch is they have to be shorter than the lower branch, and they little bit separate from left or right side. They're not over like this, parallel. So I can wire this one. It's not marked, but we can wire it for fun. Okay. <laughs> Don't blink. And uh, someday we, we, we have a good time and we talk about the uh, widening the tree. Widening the tree is, is most of very important uh, because if you, if you wire the tree like that, this way, right? When, the, when the, the, the tip like this, they go this way, that means you can bend this way. But if you, if you bend that one, the, tree, the, the wire, they lose it. So you have to wire another way. You know what I mean? Uh, for example, like this. The Y is very important. I, I open up, take everything here, make it easy for everyone. When I wire the tree like this, that means I can bend it. Every time I bend it, the, the Y is more tighter that way. But if I bend on the other way, and they open, so I have to bend uh, wire another one. This one right here, you have to wire like this. Then we can bend this way. Every time I, I wire like this, then I bend this one. Everything here, they're more tired that way. But if I wire another one, they open up. They open up. Yeah. Uh, one is not only whether you tighten it up a little bit if you bend it, but that's, that's correct. You also um, use a smaller wire because it has more strength. Than yeah. Right and also, every time you bend like that, right? You see the wire right here? You have to bend right on the, with the wire. 
don't don't make the without the wire then then they break it. With the wire then the wire they support the branch, right like this. You can see that now. They support it. If I, I if I bend right here without the wire, the wire in the back, I bend like that, it they broke it. So the wire every time you bend it, the wire have have to be right here. See that? Then they support it. So a lot of time after you wind it, you bend a little bit, they crack it because they not follow exactly the wire right here. The yes, the bend the wire. But if I bend like this, this one they open. You see that open, and they may broken right here. So I have to wire bend right here. I have the wire support in the back. Sometimes. Uh, you, okay, you can bend, after you wire it, you bend the tree like that, right? So they have to go left, right, right? But we have to, every time we count it, we count from the, from all the way supporting, that means inside here. Because we bend this on the main thing, out here is much easier. So we bend like this. So you see the movement right here. And also every time we, I bend it, this is the fun, right? This is the fun. When I bend it, I bend the curve, like, come to me. Then I can back up a little bit, then I can move this one. So you can see the curve in the front. I don't, I don't like to bend like, like this. Then move it. So this one, they go to the front of you. Yeah. The other thing you can do when you're wider is you can flatten your branches. That's right. Rotate the and you can twist too, you can twist them with the, with the uh, knife, then you can make them twist whatever you want. Why, winding the, 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 the tree is very important. If you know how to wind, then you can make the tree uh, much, uh, much easier and much faster. We always why the first one you can see that the second one have to follow them. You can't why uh, one tree move this one and the second one you have to follow them like this. That's how it is in nature. Yeah, that that's the nature because they they're looking for sun, they're looking for windy, and, and they go like this. You cannot bend uh, too wide like that. They have to reach out the sun, so they go this way. And also, every time we wind, we wind from the bottom, and we wind the big brand first, then the smaller and smaller and smaller, because the big brand is Did you like the placement of the big branches right now? Yeah, the big brand, but they don't have. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> they die. Oh, <laughs> my Well, Tom has this uh, what, cold, cold steam bending technique. I think he's proprietized. Um, it's just amazing what he can do with deadwood. Because normally, no, normally with deadwood, you don't bend it because of crap. Um, 
through the spiritual life being on the agendas, but we find a way to soften the dead wood enough that we can actually manipulate it. Yeah, you can soften with the water for like a couple of days. Make sure they, they, they suck inside and you can bend it. <laughs> just so we can, just to see the technique, how it's done. Yeah, just the technique. I think Ted did a before and after article for um, the bending. Yeah, the bending. Yeah. It's not the same when you watch a video and watch it no, and do it live. Yeah. It's, it's you see the, the nuances that you kind of miss with some of the translation. Yeah. I think that's the easy way to lay yourself, familiarize yourself with the steps. And the good thing about that, he's not cutting the tree, he's not cutting the branch. Talk about this one. Yeah. Later on, actually, we don't need that. We need some of the small one. They shoot from here. We need this. We need that. Yeah. 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 The first thing, they're too tall. Second thing, they're too big from here. You want the movement. From here, they shoot out the smaller, better. From here, they, if you make this the brand look nice, the fullet have to be covered right here. So that means too wide. Yeah. You know, if this one have to cover the cut right here. They, they have to go further, about two to three inch. Then, then the brand from here, too wide with the, the tree. So later on, we can cut. This is the main thing I, I need, a short one. This is the main thing I love, a short one. But the long one, we can cut. But if we cut right now, it's not it. <laughs> question came up at break on some of the, uh, the branches that you cut on the big ones. Yeah. Will, will they take as a big branch? I, I don't be cutting, so I can answer. Uh, yeah, most of them. It seems like the, what Michael Roberts has. A, yeah, that, that, that one is. Oh, that, that, that ha one on the bottom. Okay, for the cutting, we, we count it. This one the best. This one good. And the bigger, they, they less change. The smaller, they less. But normally, people do about like this. Normal. It, easy. Yeah. Like this one. Yeah. <laughs> when, when I cut like this, yeah. then I cut slight. Yeah, like then I dip in the root tone and put on the sand. Then uh, I cover the clear plastic, keep them warmer, and and uh, and uh, they, they go faster. And uh, inside the moisture all the time. The main thing when I cover like that is the full. They have the moisture, they don't die. Before they suck the energy from the root, the roots they come out, suck energy up. Would you put that in shape too? Yeah, better put it in shape. But, they, they, but, we, but because right now is the temperature low, right? Low in the summer. But we still need a direction after the 
over the shape. Right. Don't put inside the paddle, like you put underneath it here, they don't, they don't survive. They need a daylight, but no sun. Need a daylight. When you put this on inside the paddle or under the table, they're not going. If you cover plastic like that, it's once a month. Right? Yeah. So soak the sand. Just the sand. Put the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put the cutter. Cover yeah. Cover it. Yeah. With, with a clear plastic. Uh, the the good thing about the clear plastic, right? They, this the fluid here, they still looking for sun. Also, also, you can see a lot of moisture, the bubble inside. That means you don't need the water. But what we are living in Southern California, you watch out for the windy. Yeah. If the windy is that, that, that most of the kill the tree. Um, what kind of plastic do you use? Uh, two, about 2 to 2.5 mil, mil. That means the, about the thick. Yeah, where do you get those? Uh, you can order online, like uline.com. They, they have that, that kind. Uline? Oh, uline, yeah. So 2.5? 2.5 to 2, because... At least they about for three to six months. If you do too thin, they, 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 they break earlier. Uh, well, that's the cleaning part, isn't it? What? You, you want the cleaning, or isn't it? No, you want no. this. Um, uh, they do all, all kinds of supply, all kinds, yeah. Okay, yeah. They do chipping and. Yeah, they do. See, when I bend it, I look right here, I bend it. And this one right here, a banner, so they come out. Come on, this is like thin stuff. No, you need to get it started. Yeah, I tend to have this one to try. Why not? Is it? I, I love this one a lot. Uh, in my house, I do this kind of cutting. I grab a lot of a lot of chimpago at my house. Yeah, every year I do this one to grab about thirty three. Yeah, right now my house is about chimpago. With, uh, from Portrait, uh, I go up to Simaco, a little more than 100 trees, big, big trees. Now, can, can you put them in a big pot and put all the things in it? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's how you do that. Oh, okay. yeah. sure. So that means you water for water one time. Yeah, yeah. So, about, so a year later, a year later, the same time, you take them up, all the roots they come out and put on a single stand, a separate. Yeah. Any more questions? We have a lot. Actually, I have a lot of questions. Where but it looks good is that, uh, that screen tape they use for drywall. It, it has an adhesive on it. It oh. comes in the strip. Yeah, yeah, I use yeah. that and it works great. So yeah. make, sure, make sure your strip is nice and thin before you put it on. Not dirty. Because it won't it, stick. It won't stick. <laughs> yeah. So clean, clean your, your, pot, your pot. pot. Yeah. But that works really well. Just a little bit, but look <laughs> it's, it's a good, it's a great, it's perfect. <laughs> I like it. I can take care of the problem. When can you go on a field trip to Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I know. You can do a field trip right now. 
but have some uh, you want to take a field trip here to your place uh, actually we might have open the door for everyone bonsai come over be careful you might get off your beer at 10 o'clock yeah <laughs> <laughs> It's a fun day, right? Oh, it was great. Oh, one of my favorite days. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was raining that day, too. Yeah, we were, we're oh, it was raining? Yeah, it was raining. Yeah, raining in the morning. Raining in the morning, yeah. And it's a great day why day. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was an olive, so pretty much, yeah. Yeah, pretty much everything good. And then what did you do? You had somebody come and pick up the rest of the tree? Of the big tree? We piled it all in the side. You can have somebody come get it. But. You know, I just had my gardener get his big chainsaw and cut it up. Okay. And so now I can actually move it. Okay. And I have a painter and I'll try to make some slabs. Nice. I'll see, you kept it on purpose. I thought you just kept it on the side and you want to throw it away. Well, So <laughs> heavy. <laughs> Tree not bad after a while, huh? Okay, 
was like, okay, you can. Funny, like, crawling under all around the tree for like an hour. That's what you do. You burn it. It's done. It's like, you look at it, it comes out. Well, you can write your name as mine. You don't have to do it. Yeah. I'm just saying from somebody who just happens to be there and then wants to know, like, what's this guy doing crawling around the tree? I mean, I've been going to his house probably six years. So I see him when they come in. Yeah. Then I see him two, three years, years as well, and then I see him when they're silent. I'm like, oh crap! I guess. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm a real guy. And he sells a lot of trees. A lot of good trees get sold. People come over and say, I want that, and they buy it. Like, oh well, yeah. They're, they're all part of the yard. They're just yeah. Yard trees are just yeah. They're the biggest crop you ever see. They're they would get sick. Yeah. 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 Where do you get them? Come on. He's got a selection. <laughs> Uh, uh, and table. You mean the the bigger the big tree? Yeah, uh, uh, bigger than table. Yeah. So, but how many? Is it? I mean, I think you came home with the ten the last year. How many tree? have you fit? How many trees? Uh, sometimes only one t one 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 tree. Sometimes about four or five, uh -huh. depend on on the. Depend on the Now we can, we try to make this one the dead wood, but uh, you can cut that, but I, I just try some. Oh, you're it. Yeah. Oh, no, we, if we don't do it, they, they come out with a... Uh, winter. winter. Only uh, I, when I duck the uh, one seed juniper is the, on the summer in Arizona. Uh, uh, very hot day, and uh, but uh, at that time in uh, Arizona they have the monsoon. Yeah, yeah. That's why uh, you go over there. It's uh, easy to dig at that time, and oh, and the temperature a little bit cooler up in the mountain. Yeah. But it's hot. After you and you go down to Phoenix and it's hot. What, what's a little bit cooler than the mountains? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <Thank that>. <laughs> uh, about 85 is cooler, but down down here to the Tucson and about 115, 120. Yeah. And I go to Phoenix about 110, 115. So you take the tree after you dig it. Uh, that's why you have to. That's why everything is, I tell you is after care very important. You have to cover up water, make sure water the root, cover up with the foliage, and go home as, as fast as you can. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> without, without getting caught. <laughs> Seven hours driving. I can afford about 15 hours. Sometimes I go for one day. When you dig the tree, you enjoy, you like it, then you can dig all day. But if you have to dig it, that's that, that the tickler. Uh, no, not all the time. Whatever I have time, uh, I like it. <laughs> if you don't look like it, then you can cut it, but I just leave it that. No, men, men, uh, no, no. <laughs> the main thing I worry about is you, honey.
Any question? Basically, just that that the best I can do for right now. So you can see the frame of the tree. <laughs> This is the front right here. This is the front of the tree. So if you keep like that, if Next year, when they go out and we do the second time, it will be a whole lot better because they already have the frame. So I would like to, in the future, we lay out a little bit like that. Yeah, that's why I, I need <laughs> this one, some lower brand. And those on here can make a dead wood or whatever. Oh. But we like, I like this one right here. Oh, I see. But uh, if I don't want it, they go <laughs> If I cut too short right now, it looks funny. Right. Listen. Oh, yeah. Any question? Uh, okay, if, if, if me, it's a tree, I go home, I, I cut about halfway off, off like that, and right put a down. wider, bigger part, wider. The, the shadow, but wider. With a lot of rock underneath them, or permit underneath them, fill out about one or two inch underneath them, and put them, and all the new soil around, then they will go. Full sun? Full sun. Full with sun. A, with fertilizer? Full fertilizer. Right now, cold, it did not take too much, but it's better have some, better have some. So, and it, I use, okay, for fertilizer like this, you use the, I, at home I use the 999, they call the super iron. Super iron. Yeah, so, and also you can do like 14, 14, 14, or can you do like, uh, like, um, Eight o'clock, they he use it. But uh, you, uh, you go home depot or you go to nursery, they have a ton of the the the, the fertilizer. But this one, this kind of tree, we need a full leaf only, no flower, no fruit. So looking for the full leaf only, ask them, and they they sell it. Some flower we use a different uh, fertilizer. Right. Fruit is different. So this but, one nine 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 is good. Yeah. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the tree will be auction, is that correct? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Yes. So whoever read this one in auction, have time, next couple of years, bring over. I, I can do this one for them. <laughs> the angle that you like the final product is so be almost really nice. I like that. Uh, yeah. Perfect. And the final the final link? Yeah. Okay. And after the tree nothing, after a while it looks a little bit better, right? Awesome. Tom, they call your name. <laughs> There you go. Awesome.